Uh, hello again, everybody. Um, I have what again threatens to be another long video, uh, but this time I have a very uh, serious point that I intend to stick to. Um, this video concerns what's uh, my concern for an ongoing uh, problem with divisiveness in the atheist community. Um, if anybody out there is a, a fellow subscriber like I am of uh, guys like Thunderfoot, um, you will encounter uh, uh, a lot of evidence of the, the name of atheism uh, being used to support unrelated topics uh, like feminism or other political agendas and stuff. Um, my point here is to stress that atheism is a, a strict, narrow, and I guess potentially boring topic sometimes, and that the only belief that we all share as atheists is that there's insufficient evidence to believe in gods or the supernatural, and that we generally uh, share a worldview of skepticism, you know, requiring proof and solid, scientifically viable evidence to believe things. Um, you know, a love for the scientific method and so forth. Now, I've uh, had a lot of conversations uh, with a, a friend on YouTube where I've repeatedly um, alluded to uh, something that's unrelated, but I think that us atheists have a good chance to learn uh, something from. Um, I, I uh, grew up in a family that has a history of alcoholism, and so I am very familiar with a lot of the inner workings of Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, now, Alcoholics Anonymous has some uh, uh, rules, not really rules, but they're guidelines that they follow in order to maintain the structure that they have. Now, they have 12 uh, traditions which organize their structure at the group-to-group -group level where people meet. And the first six of those have some very universal lessons that an organization that is also loose and held around a one central idea instead of the recovery of alcoholism is supporting the secular worldview, supporting the separation of church and state, and supporting the visibility and respectability of atheism as a held belief. Now, these are going to be adapted. These are not the, the strict actual representations of the first six traditions of Alcoholics Anonymous. They're adapted. Uh, slightly, but are the same. If anybody wants to actually learn anything about them or, or to look them up, just go to aa.org and type in 12 Traditions of Alcoholics Anonymous. Okay, so here goes. The first tradition that, it, you know, when you, when you strip it down to its bare parts is our common welfare comes first. As in, you know, we should be concerned as atheists for atheism and should not be concerned as atheists for things that have nothing to do with secular uh, advancement of secular ideals. Um, second, our leaders don't govern; they are peers. Um, you know, ultimately, you know, Richard Dawkins is an evolutionary biologist, is a very respected author, has high levels of visibility. But I don't; he's not my pope. You know what I mean? He shouldn't be anybody else's pope. I highly respect him, but ultimately, as Strictly an atheist, Richard Dawkins is my peer. And, and because he might know more or be well versed, much more well versed, and have all these debates under his belt, doesn't make him a better atheist than me. I hope you get what the gist of this is. Third, the only requirement for membership, in Alcoholics Anonymous, the only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. Here, the only requirement for membership is to not have the belief in God's. God, gods, or other things that are not explained. And of course, whether or not you want to express the strict belief that there is no God or that you have insufficient evidence of God, both are valid points. You know, either you don't believe or there is no as a statement. Not a huge difference there, in my opinion. So when you see things like Atheism Plus, where you must be required to be pro-feminist and you know, have a desire to change the rules of conventions to be a dick, you know, stuff like that. That's a personal belief, by the way, uh, of mine. It's an opinion. Fuck atheism plus. Excuse me. Um, 
But let's get on to the point, because I'm going to try to make a video that's under freaking 12 minutes. I'm pathetic. Okay, four is uh, each group shall be autonomous, which means, okay, I respect atheism plus right to be atheism plus. I don't recognize them as an atheist group. I recognize them as people who like to bandy around with atheism as a buzzword to support their other ideas and to be snobs. So I don't think they're being helpful because they claim to be superior, to be the new paradigm, and that we're assholes for not going along with that. And, and anybody else, okay, in any form of visibility or power or grouping who wants to throw to bandy around atheism is bad because this leads to uh, tradition number five. Each group has but one primary purpose, to carry the message. For Alcoholics Anonymous, this is to carry the message of the alcoholic who still suffers. For us, it's to carry the message of what we believe as atheists, how that works, that we don't worship Satan, that we don't uh, all live in witches' covens and so forth. You know what I mean? And also to promote our secular worldview because, you know, we're right. In my opinion. And I think a lot of yours, too. And six is the most important one that I am making this video about. Us as a group, as the broad group of atheism, shall never endorse any outside causes or special interest groups, and we shall never lend the name of atheism to unrelated special interests. Okay? And I come down on Atheism Plus a lot, and a lot of uh, the animosity that's been directed at them is, of course, because of their ties to the modern feminist movement. Now, if anybody's curious about my my opinion on that, is um, very sim fairly simple to follow. I believe in gender equality. I believe in breaking that glass ceiling. I believe that women should be paid more. I also believe that men that men's rights in custody, uh, and things like custody and uh, and um, divorce court and stuff should be reviewed too. Because I believe in gender equality. I'm not a feminist. I'm not a men's right movement guy. I believe in gender equality. And also that from what I've seen of the likes of PZ Myers and Anita Sarkeesian and so forth, that I don't like them. Personally, I don't like their methods. I don't like their message. I don't like what they have to say. And I don't like what they do to the group as a whole. I believe they are negative influence and that they represent the sort of laughable, mockable, infighting and sectism that goes along with Christian denominations and Muslims that disagree with each other and so forth. We like our solidarity. We like our simple belief. And we stand everything to lose for slapping atheism around like a goddamn endorsement. That's absurd. I hope this video was helpful to somebody. I managed to make it under nine minutes. Isn't that wonderful? And um, there you go. I hope that was something useful. I wanted to make a video that was not your average apologetics defeating or just blah, 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 blah. I wanted to bring something new. That's what I try to do with every video, bring something new. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon.